Welcome back and thanks for checking in. This is day two of doing rotations of shapes on the coordinate plane. Your learning target for this lesson is that you will be able to list the coordinates for a rotated shape and let's not forget what coordinates are. Coordinates are the ordered pairs and you'll be able to write a rule for a rotation that's already been made. This was on the uh, previous video, but this is a reminder of how we uh, find the coordinates or the ordered pairs if we want to rotate a figure 90 degrees about the origin, moving in a clockwise direction. So let's review a couple things before we really uh, get into the meat and potatoes of this. 90 degrees means this. That is a 90 degree angle. So we're basically going to take an image and we if, we, if we were graphing it, which today we're not, we would be turning it a fourth of a turn of a circle. So we wouldn't, you know, if the circle has 360 degrees in it, a 90 degree turn would be one fourth of a full rotation. And when we say about the origin, remember that on a coordinate plane, the origin is that middle point at the zero, zero. And when we talk about clockwise, we are talking about the way the hands on a clock move, which would be like so, clockwise. Okay, so here's how you do it. Just a quick review. You would list your original coordinates. So let's say um, point A has coordinates of 2, 3. That would be the original point A. The next step says flip the X value signs so that it is its opposite. So I look at the x, the x value is a 2, and it's going to become then a negative 2, okay? There's the, sign, the change I made. And again, when we say to its opposite, we mean from positive to negative or from negative to positive. Step 3 says switch the x and y coordinates. In other words, the x and the y have to flip-flop from right to left. And so your a prime would now be... 3, comma, negative 2. So the 3 from the y became the x, and the negative 2 from the x became the y. So they flip-flopped. And then now you could graph your new image. So those are the steps you would take to find the new coordinates of any vertice or any point or any corner after it's been rotated 90 degrees about the origin. If we're turning a shape 180 degrees about the origin, um, 180 degrees means this, like a straight line, halfway around the turn of a circle. So again, a full circle is 360 degrees. So a 180 degree turn would be turning a shape half of a circle turn. Again, about the origin, and again, always going clockwise. So here are the directions for how to do that. List your original coordinates. So now let's say we're looking at point B, and I'm going to say point B is negative 1, 4. I don't know. I'm just making things up. I'm going to flip the x value signs from positive to negative. Okay. So the x is negative 1. I'm going to flip it to its opposite, so now it's a positive 1. Step three says flip the y value signs, again, from positive to negative or negative to positive. So my y is currently a four. It's going to become a negative four. And graph your new image. So for b prime, that's my new one, they don't flip-flop spots. We just change their signs. And if I were to plot that point, I would see that it was 100 degree, 180 degrees opposite from where it originally started on the coordinate plane. But as I said, we are not graphing today. We are basically just doing all of these uh, calculations mathematically. So on this slide, it asks us to list the coordinates of the vertices. Vertices are corners, or the points, the corner points of each figure after the given rotation. Okay, so they start us off with A, B, and C. They ask us to rotate it 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. So that 180 degrees, that's the example that I just went over on the previous screen. 
that's where the X and the Y just change from positive to negative or negative to positive. So these are like the really easy ones. So if I were going to change A to A prime, the 1 would become a negative 1 for the X, and the Y would become a negative 4 uh, from an original 4. Not too bad, right? From B to B prime, the X value was negative 2, so now it's positive 2. The Y value was positive 3, now it's negative 3. And from C to C prime, the X value was negative 5, so now it's going to be a positive 5. And the Y was negative 2, so now it's positive 2. There you go. Those are your new coordinates for these vertices after the shape would have rotated 180 degrees. Remember, the 180 degree turns, those are the easier ones, I think. What's this one ask us to do? It gives us the points D, E, F, and G. This must be uh, something with four sides to it. We're rotating this guy 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So let's look back at the 90 degree slide. That's where the X changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, and then the X and the Y change spots. Okay, let's go back and look at this thing. Here it is again. So I got some work to do on these ordered pairs. First step is change the x, change the sign of the x. So I'm looking at d, instead of negative 1, it's going to be positive 1. I'm looking at e, again, instead of negative 1, positive 1. I'm looking at f, instead of positive 1, it's going to be a negative 1. And g, instead of 3, negative 3. Now, when I list my new ordered pairs, my D prime, E prime, so on and so forth, I need to flip flop the X and the Y values. So looking at D prime, I'm going to have a negative 5, positive 1. See? They kind of like crisscross. For E prime, it's going to be 0, 1. F prime is going to be 1, negative 1. And G prime, negative 2 negative 3. And if I were to plot those points and compare them to the original points and draw the shapes, you would see that that shape turned 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, a fourth of a turn of a full circle. Okay, so that's part of our learning target. The other part of our learning target does things like this. Write a rule to describe each rotation. So the original figure is uh, PQR in black there on the left, and the new image is P prime, Q prime, R prime in red on the right. And we have to decide how did it get from where it started to where it is now? Did it go 90 degrees or did it turn 180 degrees? Well, it's very easy to tell. And here is how I suggest you do it. Pick a point on the original figure. I'm going to choose P. There's a vertex, P. Connect that original point on the original figure to the origin. See that? I went to the origin. Now, from the origin, go to the new location for P, which is called P prime, right there. So again, I went from the original P down to the origin and from the origin up to P prime. Now I'm going to ask you, what do you see? Is that a 90 degree angle or a 180 degree angle? Let's not forget. That's a 90 degree angle. And this is a 180 degree angle. That looks like a 90 degree angle to me. So if I were to describe this, I would say that it turned 90 degrees clockwise about, which kind of means around, the origin. It turned 90 degrees. Let's, let's, uh, I'll show you yet again. I'm going to put my point on Q. Watch this guy. And I'm going to trace it to where the new Q is. Bang. Isn't that one-fourth of a circle? Yes, it is. And one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees. 
Awesome. Let's do one more. Same thing. Write a rule to describe this rotation. The original figure is in black, and the new image is there in red. Okay. Hmm. Well, what did I tell you to do? Pick a point. On the original, I'm going to choose zero, uh, point O. I connect it to the origin. And from the origin, I go to the new O prime right there. Looks like a straight line to me. And straight lines are 180 degrees. And really, it could be clockwise or counterclockwise, but we're just going to stick with clockwise. 180 degrees turn about the origin clockwise. Now, again, I'll prove it to you. I'll use a different point. Let's say I use point, oh, I don't know. I don't, let's just use zero again, or not zero, but point O. If I start on O, and I'm going to go down here to the new O, O prime, I'm going to trace its path. It went like that. Isn't that half of a circle? Yes. And that's 180 degrees. Okay, so either way really works, whether you want to draw the line through the origin like I did, or whether you want to pick a point and kind of curve it around to its new location, you could do it either way. That's my suggestion for writing those rules. In class, we're just going to continue to work on our worksheet that we started previously, all right? Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in class.